morning guys, it's 8am and welcome to my first KCL vlog. So today is my first day of classes so I wanted to film it, document the occasion. I actually only have one class today for ethics and then I have two tomorrow and one on Wednesday and that's it for this term so it's actually quite a breezy week. Uh, I say that now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a two hour class uh, from 11 till 1 and then I've got loads of reading to do for the other classes so I kind of just thought yeah I'd bring you along for the ride. So before I got ready I wanted to do a quick workout. I only had time for 20 minutes so I did a 20 minutes ab workout on the night training club app you guys know that's my favorite and then i started getting ready you know had a shower and on here you can see me doing my hair okay so i've gotten ready my first class is about to start i'm also making coffee in the background in case you're annoyed first class is about to start it's all on teams for the first few weeks of my course so basically i'm not going in it's just all going to be online which is fine by me you know because it gives me a chance to just like one not have to leave the house and to like get to know my local area before i'm like jetting around london so yeah just about to log into that class now okay so this is my first class it's for ethics and I am on mute, that was terrifying. Um, so this is my first class for ethics. For this we had to read Plato's Republic book one and two and also a book by Aristotle, which are things I haven't really done before. And then basically today we're going to discuss them and also get to know each other according to my lecturer. <laughs> so intrigued to see how the first class goes. So I've just finished my first class, my laptop's like overheating because I don't have any Wi-Fi in my flat yet so I'm like hotspotting um, my laptop from my phone so it's just too much for my old little Mac. Anyway, so like my thoughts on my first class. I mean, for one, okay, so it's a two hour class on ethics. The first half an hour was literally spent just getting everybody into the right Teams meeting because he sent out like three links and they were all different. You wouldn't think that Teams would be a match for a PhD but Teams is clearly the winner. So that was kind of annoying to be honest because it just ate up like a quarter of our time. And then he literally spent like, I don't know what felt like an hour just like introducing everybody and everyone going around like, hi, I'm Chelsea, I'm from a law background. I really want to do this module because X, Y, Z. And it's like, oh my God, for 20 people. And it's also just one of the things that I'm like, I understand why that's useful, but equally, I can't remember anybody's name <laughs> because it was like 20 people in one go. So it kind of just ate up so much time, especially when like I've done the reading, I've watched the lectures and then we spend 75% of the, the seminar where we're meant to be discussing those actually just like faffing about. So it's kind of annoying. And then we literally spent like 20 minutes discussing the actual reading. There was like one girl that was just asking like a gazillion questions, which fair play, but like the time I got to me wanting to ask something he was like yeah that's it okay see you guys next week bye mm. and i was like what like i mean hopefully it'll be a bit better when we have two hours solely focusing on the readings but that that seminar just kind of felt super pointless and just kind of like when he literally polled to see who had done the reading less than half had done the reading and i'm like oh why why like you're on a master's course, come on guys, what? But yeah, that's my class done for today. So I've got a class tomorrow morning and I want to do the reading for that because I haven't yet. <laughs> and then I want to do the reading for my Wednesday class too. It's so annoying because obviously it's, it's Monday now, but I only got the readings for these classes like Thursday, Friday last week and then I'd only just moved house and like, so I haven't really got around to do them yet. So I wanna do all of that today. And you know, it's a good job that I actually left it because I got an email from one of my lecturers today, this morning saying, oh yeah, uh, the reading that I wanted you to do, I've changed my mind, can you do something else? I was like, lol to all the people that have actually done it, but now I just wanna have some to eat and crack on with the reading for this afternoon. So I had a quick lunch break. I just had some soup because I wasn't feeling that hungry and I watched the news at one just to catch up on what's been happening. Okay, so a little bit of time has passed because the like house manager wanted to come round and do some maintenance. So I had to let her in and the electrician's coming in an hour. So <laughs> stuff's falling apart. Anyway, so um, I'm just starting my pre-reading now for my next class tomorrow, which is in uh, medical Medical law it's in medical law consent refusal something like that it's very 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 similar to those of you that watched my undergrad vlogs uh, it's very similar to my mental capacity 
module. So uh, there's a lot of overlap, all the textbooks are the same, so hopefully this should be quite straightforward. Um, and there's about 45 pages of reading to do for this one class, and then they want us to answer a problem question and answer a few questions for the seminar. So again, even in terms of structure, oh, my emails. So even in terms of structure, um, the course is very similar. Obviously for that module I did in my undergrad, we literally just did reading, answered some seminar questions, and then you went through them in class. So whereas other classes I'm taking at King's are kind of a bit different. Um, so yes, it's very familiar to me, so hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> oh, and also, I got some cereal because I'm starving again. So here I'm just reading the textbook required for my medical law class and it was Emily Jackson's textbook, anybody that knows and studies medical law, big up. <laughs> and I know a lot of you have asked me how I do my reading and how I take notes, so I'm going to release a separate video on that, that will come out soon. But basically here you can just see me reading through everything, highlighting what I need, putting that into my Word document and this took bit longer than expected because there was a lot of journal articles and textbook chapters to read for it. So out of the seven bits of reading that I had to do and then the questions to answer, I have read five readings. I've got two cases left to read, skim really, and then I can answer the questions. To be fair, I can answer the questions now, but I just want to like read it all and then do it. I've ordered food because I'm done and it's only day one. <laughs> and hopefully the f I will read probably one case have the food, have a Netflix break, read the other case, answer the questions, go the heck to bed. I'm already tired. I feel like I look tired. I feel done. I'm done. Day one. Oh my God. Oh. So here I'm just procrastinating, pretending, kidding myself to do work, but secretly I'm just like waiting for my takeaway. I feel like I would just like to share that I'm doing Uber Eats and I just got the notification that they've picked up my order. Um, yo. I ordered it from downstairs. I don't need a car for it. Just, you know, someone to come upstairs. <laughs> okay, and then I saw that my takeaway was on the way, so I actually was doing work in a mad panic before it came. Okay, so my food came. I'll show you what I got as I talk. Um, so I ordered it from Uber Eats because I had a £15 voucher on there and you could literally get like £15 off for a £15 order. So basically I got it for free. I just had to pay the £1 odd delivery charge and I was like, free dinner and lunch for tomorrow for like a pound. Love it, love it. But because I literally wanted to try the takeaway on my road, it's literally downstairs. I still ordered obviously through uh, Uber Eats. So like some guy literally just had to pull up on his little moped, get go to the shop downstairs and then literally take it to my house. But it's funny because when I opened the door, the owner of the takeaway came with the delivery guy, I guess to see who had moved in. And he was like, why did you get order through him? You should have just come down to see me. Like we could have talked, da, da, da. So I feel like, I don't know, I bonded with the, uh, the takeaway owner downstairs, which is good because I love an Indian. So right now I'm just gonna polish off all this food and then watch a bit of Netflix. And then I've got a case and a half to read after that and answer some questions. So hopefully I should be in bed I don't know, tell me early, it's half six, seven now, so 10 maybe. I say that now, <laughs> it won't be. So I decided to watch The Gentleman and it's such a good film. Guy Ritchie directed it, it's such a great cast. I watched it on Amazon Prime. If anybody's got that, I would definitely recommend watching it. And then I just kind of settled in bed for a change of study scene and I was doing the remainder of my reading for my medical law class and this just consisted of two cases I had to read. Oh my gosh, you know what, it's so peak. So it's like half nine. I've just finished my readings and stuff for what would have been tomorrow's class. And they sent us an email saying they're gonna split the classes into two. So there's a Tuesday group and a Wednesday group. So I thought obviously that would be like the Tuesday group. So I did all the reading and prep for tomorrow thinking I can't go to bed. I've got to do it for tomorrow because the class at 10 a.m. Guess who's been put in the Wednesday group? me so really i could have done all of this tomorrow and had a fun night rather than staying up till like 9 30 doing uni work i'm going to bed honestly so then i decided it was ready for bed so i was taking my makeup off whilst i was on facetime to my mum and then obviously just did my teeth and washed my face okay so i feel like we're finishing where we started I'm gonna go to bed now it's funny how I was like, I'm gonna bed at 10. It's literally like half 11, almost 12. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like I've had a semi-productive day. You know, did my first class, did some reading for my second class that is now a day later than I thought it would be. Yeah, rewarded myself with a fat Indian that was free. So actually it's been a, it's been a good day all in all. So 
yeah I think that concludes this vlog I hope you liked it I mean you haven't really seen much of London I've literally been in the house all day um, but in the next vlogs I will make a more conscious effort to go and explore London and explore the city that I'm actually in for this masters so let me know down below what you actually want to see for the King's vlogs for the KCL saga series um, whether there's any specific videos you want to make on law or like academia or studying or whether you just want more vlogs like these let me know everything that you want to see in the next academic year down below and yeah this is the end of this video i hope you liked it i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys